हेलो एवरी वन वी आर हैविंग अ वेरी काइंड ऑफ ट्रिकी प्रॉब्लम हेयर ट्रिकी इन द सेंस बिकॉज इफ यू विल नॉट बी नोटिसिंग और रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन वेरी मच केयरफुली यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम सो द प्रॉब्लम से समानता वॉज टास्क विथ कैलकुलेटिंग द एवरेज मंथली सैलरीज फॉर ऑल इम्प्लॉयज इन टू द इम्प्लॉय टेबल सो दिस इज द इम्प्लॉय टेबल वी आर हैविंग थ्री कॉलम्स आई डी नेम एंड सैलरी ऑल दीज कॉलम्स आर प्रेजेंट हेयर but did not realize her keyboard zero was broken until after completing the calculation so the zero was broken so whatever salary she had inputted the zeros would have missed by her so you can see this was the samantha's entry which was done and this is the real entry which was required so you can see all these zeros they have vanished from samantha's entries which she has done so all those zeros you can see they have been vanished so there are some of the miscalculations which have been done now what is the thing which we want so she wants your help finding the difference between her miscalculation using salaries with any zeros removed and the actual average salary you need to write a query to calculate the amount of error which is actual minus miscalculated average monthly salaries and we need to round it up to the next integer value so this is our employee table and this is the actual input or the correct answers or the correct input which was provided and this was the input which was provided by samantha so we need to get the difference between the actual and the miscalculated so this was the miscalculated one so let us proceed writing the query so first of all you might have this particular confusion like what is the actual data which is present into our database is that the miscalculated one Uh, like without the zeros or is it the correct one or the with the zeros one so let us see first of all we'll see what is the data looking like does our data has zeros into the third column or the salary column or not so i'll do a simple select star from employee so that that can give a visibility like we are having the miscalculated data or the correct data into our database and then from there we'll be proceeding with writing our queries for this particular problem so you can see we are having the actual data or the correct data so you can see zeros are present into our data so this is the data which is correct this is not the data which is miscalculated by samantha so let us write the query to calculate this particular thing or the amount of error which was present here so can we say that we will replace all the zeros which are present here with a space or nothing and then that would serve our purpose so that the zeros would get removed so wherever zeros are present either a space or nothing would come up there and then we'll be getting the values similar to what samantha has got so we'll be using the replace function is for example i'll do it here itself so uh, i'll write the column name so id name and replace so for example you can see we are getting the zeros into our output for example 9009 yes you can see two zeros are present here 23400 is present here let us use the replace function and we'll be using the replace function to remove all those zeros from our salary column so salary and what do we need to replace so we need to replace zero by what by nothing so we would provide nothing here let us run the code let us see if we are getting the output like what we want it or not so you can see the zeros have been removed or replaced by nothing so either space might have come up but space is also not coming so for space i would need to provide a space here so that the space comes up instead of the zero but i don't want anything like this what we wanted so earlier you could have seen like it was 9009 but here the zeros have been removed the zeros which were present between both the nines and only 99 is coming up similarly earlier 2340 was there and zero has been removed and this is the miscalculation which was done by samantha so this is the wrong data which we have got and also we have our correct data from before into our database itself so that is the salary column which is present before now so this is the correct data which we have got this is the wrong data which we have got and they have told us to calculate the miscalculation actual minus miscalculated so this is the actual this is the miscalculated one so let us use the average so we need to get the average value from here so i'll use the average function so you can see somewhere they've written this is the average monthly salaries values 
here also i'll provide the average value and at the very last they are telling round it off to the next integer be using the seal function here hit the run code button you can see we have got our correct answer and definitely this was a tricky level problem so if i would have not understood the question i would have not solved this problem so and also we learned this particular new function which is the seal function to get the next integer value here so definitely this video was quite useful into that respect do like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't to receive such kind of useful information on a daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye